Want a business you love that pays you well? Want a lifestyle where you can do what you want, when you want? Then you are in the right spot. It's time to overcome online overwhelm with OnlineMasterPlanSeries.com. Here's your host and one of the OMS mentors, Laura Wage. So Keith, if I snuck into your office and I reprogrammed your computer so that you could only ever access five websites, which five would they be? It's such a fantastic question, isn't it? I mean, everyone in the world should ask, ask themselves this question. It's such a fantastic question. Only five. And you know what? I, I've got to say, and I, it probably sounds a bit cheesy, but I'm very, very proud of what we've done on the online master plan series. That would have to be one of them onlinemasterplanseries.com because I've created it. I, as part of a team, we've created something magical and I want to be able to access that and see it evolve because you and Heather and Andrew are doing most of the work behind the scenes, high level coding and all that stuff. I have no idea how you're doing that, but I, every day I check in and I see a, a change and I'm, pa I'm part of that. So online master plan series would have to be one of them. And as an online entrepreneur, I'm pretty sure everyone would agree with me here that your own website, Whatever that is would have to be one of the five because it's your baby. It's your business. You're the one doing the stuff. And that for me is globalsocialmediacoaching.com. That's my, that's my site where I put my stuff on my interviews, these interviews, all my groovy things. But I'm sure that's not what you mean. I'm sure what you mean, you want, you want me to share all my favorite sites. And I'm, now I'm, I've only got three left. Like I'm stuck on a desert island. I've got three wishes. So uh, the key is I cannot – Cannot, will not live without Twitter. Cannot, cannot. I cannot live without Twitter. So I, um, I might be lucky because I could get it on my phone. So I might be able to sneak in another one now. But um, nice try, buddy. <laughs> right there in there. No, but I can't live without Twitter. I just love it. And I'll tell you why I love it and why I'm so addicted to it and why it suits my personality. I love sharing. I love helping the world. I love sharing content. And Twitter is great for sharing. It's also great for connecting, and I'm a connector. I'm an ENFP. I love people. You know, I, I, I just love sharing stuff, and I love connecting with people, and Twitter is great for that. So I can't live without Twitter. The other side I love, I have to do this every day, Buffer, B-U-F-F-E-R. Uh, the actual website is bufferapp.com because it allows me to share stuff and still live. You know, I don't have to be on Twitter 24-7 to share your great podcasts or those great articles or the – the, the videos I come across from Elaine, I can schedule them out throughout the day and still go for a walk to the beach and have a latte or cook dinner for my wife or watch a bit of TV or go on a holiday for 32 days on a cruise in the Caribbean. <laughs> so Buffer is one of those tools, one of those hacks that allows you to do this stuff and still do what you do naturally, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. So now All I'm right. going to one. I'm so going you've to got one, left. one left. What's your last wish? How would I do this? How do I do this? So I've got a decoder on the other ones I could have used. I think socialmediaexaminer.com is probably one of the best sites in the history of the world. You know, and I, I've, I've no affiliation with that site. I, I've never been part of it. I've never been asked to write for it. I'm unlikely to speak at their events. I, I'll guess. I mean, I've never been to America. Maybe one day I'll go. But uh, that site is such a great resource for entrepreneurs. Yes, yeah, everything Stelzer, you did. Yeah, he created magic when he created that site, and the evolution of it has been amazing. But you're right; like, it's such a great resource. And it's so on top of everything. When there's a change with Facebook, it's they're talking about it on Social Media Examiner. When there's a, a you know a better way or somebody that's doing something that is really just you know kicking ass and taking names, they're talking about it on Social Media Examiner. It's fabulous. Yeah, it's fabulous. If you haven't done it, you have to sign up for Social Media Examiner right now. I know they've already got 245,000 people on their email list. You can It's easy to see why. They have a podcast every Saturday. comes out Saturday in, in Australia, Friday in the US. And, and Michael interviews all these really cool people. One day, Michael, hello, one day Michael might interview me, maybe. If he ever does an Aussie Down Under version, well, I'm right there. Perfect. I, I want to decode. I almost put in Facebook. 
because I communicate with my friends there. I, I, I really quite actively dislike Facebook as a platform. It's starting to really give me the shits. But uh, I'm addicted to it because I chat there all the time with my friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's a lifestyle choice. Yeah. And the other one was Google. But then I figured, and this is actually sort of a little bit of advanced thinking, if I can only access five websites, there's no point having Google because, you know, you, you type in a question, you know, such and such, won't, you can't access it. You can only access five. So even, even if they gave you the answer, you couldn't read it. <laughs> this is true. So that's it. Facebook and Google are gone and you're done. Gone. <laughs> But what a great question. You're only allowed five websites in your whole life. What would they be? That's it for this episode. Don't let your next promising idea stop dead in its tracks because your overwhelm gets in the way. You need our free tips. Head on over to overcomeonlineoverwhelm.com now.